Welcome to the part two of the video series on quadrilateral and in this video we will talk about adjacent sides, about adjacent vertices, about opposite sides, about opposite vertices. So if we have this quadrilateral, if we have this quadrilateral, first I want to talk about, let's discuss about adjacent sides. So the first point will be the first point will be adjacent 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 sites so in this quadrilateral ad and ab these two will be adjacent sites ad and AB. Similarly, we'll have this BA and BC. BA and BC. In a similar fashion, you have CB and CD. You have CB and CD. And then you have DC and DA DC and DA so these are the adjacent sites of this quadrilateral right now what about opposite sites what about opposite sites opposite opposite sides so opposite sides means that those which are those sides which are not adjacent so in this case if i take ad and bc ad and bc then i take ab and cd AD sorry AB AB and CD then I take if I take this one that is BC and AD BC and AD then if I take what's left here we took AD and BC, we took AB and CD, we took BC and AD. So these are the, you know, this, this one, this one, and then this one and this one. So these are the, uh, you know, opposite sides of this uh, particular quadrilateral, which are not adjacent. Hey, one mistake, uh, I mean, if, if you see that this AD and BC these are the same things so you know it's it's a mistake I'm sorry for that I should have not written that I should have avoided that since it has four sides then of course that's a common sense that it will have two opposite sides this this are the opposite and this these two sides are opposite so BC and AD I um, mean they are the same similar same thing as AD and BC I'm sorry for that so opposite sides are AD and BC and AB and CD. Now it's turn for adjacent vertices. Adjacent, adjacent vertices. Now adjacent vertices will be similar to you know like we figured it out figured out for adjacent sides. We the way we found out for adjacent sides so adjacent vertices will be you know endpoints of a given i mean of a given side of the same side like if i take ad then the endpoints of this ad is a and d therefore this a and d will be the adjacent vertices of this quadrilateral one of the adjacent vertices of this quadrilateral so if i take this side ad then a and d a and D. These are adjacent vertices. Similarly, if I take AB as a side, then 
A and B are the adjacent vertices. A and B are the adjacent vertices. If I take this side, then B and C will be the adjacent vertices. If I take C and D side, then C and D are the adjacent vertices. Similarly for opposite vertices, opposite vertices, So opposite vertices is similar to what we, I mean, the way we found, found in the case of opposite sides. So this, this vertex, vertex A and this vertex C, which are not adjacent. So A and C, these are opposite vertices. And then B vertex and D vertex, B vertex and D vertex. So B and D. So A and C, A and C, and B and D, these are the opposite vertices. Now finally, about diagonals. Now you know that diagonals always connect opposite vertices. So in this case, if we take this Word, these two vertices that is a and c which are opposite vertices and if i connect them if i join them using a line then this line ac this line segment ac will be the diagonal so we are talking about diagonals we are talking about diagonals so ac is a is one diagonal and B and D are another opposite vertices. So if we connect these opposite vertices, if we join these opposite vertices using a line segment, then line segment BD will be another diagonal of this quadrilateral. So what all we discuss here, we discuss about adjacent sides, opposite sides, adjacent vertices, opposite vertices and finally about diagonals.